Hello, welcome to HR Excel Made Easy. In this video, we'll be looking at Excel for HR Analytics and we'll also be seeing how statistics can be used for HR Analytics. So you might ask, what is HR Analytics? So HR Analytics, also known as People Analytics, is the collection and application of talent data to improve critical talent and business outcomes. HR analytics is the process of collecting and analyzing human resource data in order to improve an organization's workforce. Some other thoughts will see HR analytics as people analytics, workforce analytics or talent analytics, and it involves gathering together analyzing and reporting HR data. Excel is a useful tool for HR analytics. In this video, we will learn how to create basic HR analytics using Excel. Statistics in HR analytics. So you may be wondering how is statistics applied in human resource? In an HR context, that means using relevant HR data to make less biased, more objective decisions and recommendations. In other words, statistics can help HR professionals to become more evidence-based as opposed to relying on intuition alone. So, why is HR statistics important? So, these HR statistics can help you better understand what your employees and candidates care about and how your company compares to peers so you can make better decisions moving forward. HR professionals use Microsoft Excel statistical tools to make informed decisions. Now, here are some HR statistics you should know as a HR professional. Some of the statistics that you should get familiar with as a HR professional for analytic purposes are the base measure or the basic count. So example of this is the workforce health count, how many people are in the organization, number of employees, number of hires, number of exits, date of birth, etc, etc. Now the other statistics that you must know how to measure is the calculated measure. So example include employee age, turnover rate, average employee salary, male or female staffing rate, and all that. So I also have measures of central tendency. This is where you have to find out the mean or the average. You have median, I have what? Mode. Most of these things you might be familiar with but don't know how to use it. So let us go straight to practical and see real world case scenario of how to apply statistics to HR analytics. So on my screen here is a set of data and as you can see it says what? From the annual salary of employees below, what is the average annual salary of employees? By average they mean what? mean what is the median annual salary of employees what is the mode so for us to actually get this you will notice that you have to use microsoft excel functions all right so this invariably are the annual salary of the employees and you can format them accordingly now suppose we want to add a currency symbol to this salary what you just need to do is to select this range then come to this section of your number and hit on this little icon and it should bring this for you. So what you just need to do is to hit on what currency and go to this part where it says what symbol and you can change it accordingly to any form of currency that you want depending on your country and what have you. So clicking the symbol, locate your Naira and select any of the Naira and hit what OK. I notice that your employee salary will be formatted accordingly. Now we go ahead to 
calculate what the average salary is for this particular range. So what you have to do is to start with what equal to average. As you are typing average, a whole lot of options comes up for you. So you select the one that matches what you are looking for. Select the range, close up your bracket and hit what enter. So it will tell you that this is the average salary. Then you can go ahead to calculate the median. So equal to median and it should bring out this select that this particular range. Close it up and it should give you the median. Then you can go ahead also to calculate the mode. So equal to mode. All right. So select that and you can select this particular range. Close it up and it will give you the mode. So the mode here, it says what's not applicable. The mode definitely is the most occurring number. But here you notice that there's no number that is occurring more than one time. So suppose you make this other guy 3.5 million. Let's see if it will affect our mood eventually. So that will just have a number for our mood. So can you see what is happening here? So the mood at this instance is what? 3.5 million. Is that right? So this is how simple you can actually go ahead to use statistics for HR data analysis. So this is just like for learning purposes because in ideal cases, you'll be dealing with tens to hundreds to thousands of employee data. Now to our the right of our worksheet here, you have some other set of data. Here we'll be looking at how to calculate the average workforce age. So average workforce age equal to total number of each employee age divided by the total number of what employees is that all right so how are we going to do this the table below or this set of data below because it's not yet a table represents the date of birth today's dates and the age is okay so but there's a function to actually use to calculate today's date which is what equal to today so just type in today open and close your bracket i notice that it brings up to this date so it's hashed out because it cannot enter or fit in accordingly so i'm going to open this i notice that it brings up today's date is that right so we've made several videos on how to use the today function and the date diff function that is to calculate the difference in dates you can go ahead to watch it on your screen right away now how do you calculate age so we invariably use today's function to fill up this is all right so i'm going to delete it to just show you how we're able to do it so equal to today all right so open and close up your bracket and hit enter and it brings up to this date for you so you can just go ahead to auto fill this by clicking the bottom right corner and it fills it automatically for you now you might do yourself good to always format your set of data to table so that to make your work easier notice that i have to take one more step after finding today's date by clicking at this drop down but supposing this table were formatted as a table you will notice that it does that automatically for me so follow me let me just show you what i mean so supposing i just want to format this data as a table i select everything Control t will bring up this create table dialog box and it says what well, where is the data for your table definitely the range that I selected my table has headers definitely yes so hit what okay so this data is automatically formatted as a table now let us go ahead to perform the same function that i wanted to perform before now equal to today so there's always a trick or a shorter way of doing something all right so you hit what enter so once you hit enter it automatically populates everything for you so that's the beauty of using table in analyzing your data as far as hr professional is concerned hope you are getting value in this video do well to hit the subscribe button right away to support our channel so how do we calculate the staff age in this case what you just need to do is to use the microsoft excel function date diff so equal to date diff all right so make sure you spell it correctly then the date diff function is so that you pick the earlier day comma 
the present date in this case is what let me just come to my formula bar so i'll be able to select it in this case is um yes this particular <laughs> this particular cell all right so the formula is actually blocking me out so i just have to use that trick using my down arrow key comma then you have the year we want our result to be displayed in year because this date diff function is so that the different units of display can be in years in months or in days is all right so i just want to show us how to use the different results eventually but let us just display the outcome in years then you close up your bracket and hit what enter so it automatically calculates the age of the staff in years so it's in years because we have our unit or our variable here why if you want it to be displayed in months you just quickly change this word m i notice that the age of the staff will be displayed in months is that okay it's very simple if you want it to be displayed in days you just change this to d and you notice that the age of the staff is will be displayed in days but this different ways of displaying age of staff in months or in days is not very common so that is why ideally you should go with what is generally what acceptable which is what in years and which will eventually make more sense now going ahead to calculate the average workforce age so what you just need to do is to hit what equal to here then type in your what average and you can now select your range of data and it should do the calculation automatically for you so the average is what that's 8.11111 so use an excel function int to actually make this a whole number so equal to int so start typing your int open it up close it up and hit what enter so you have 38 years as the average age or average workforce age of the staff hope you've gotten value in this video remember we started with what what is hr analytics and we able to define hr analytics and we also went ahead to look at statistics in hr analytics and we looked at why is hr statistics important is okay then we went ahead to look at hr statistics that you should know so we looked at base measure calculated measures the measures of central tendency do well to support our channel by smashing the subscribe button also like and share this video on your screen is a video that shows you important microsoft excel hr function that you should know go ahead to watch it right away excel made easy or hr excel made easy